All right, I just pulled the diff out of the 350Z, and uh, now I'm going to yank the cover off, pull the axle shafts out, and uh, weld this thing. So hopefully it'll do good skids. Now when you're doing this, you don't want to hit the ABS sensor, you don't want to hit this, that's the uh, vent tube, you don't want to hit the studs, you don't want to hit none of that. Just want to very gently whack on the uh, broad edges. It'll, it'll disconnect pretty quickly. See, there you go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, now I'm going to start spraying some non-chlorinated brake cleaner in here to uh, clear some of the oil out. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cleaning that happens in here, and you uh, want to use the non-chlorinated. If you're going to use brake cleaner at all, it's something you're going to weld. You want to use non-chlorinated brake cleaner because uh, if you use chlorinated brake cleaner, it will uh, create, I think it's chlorine gas, which is poisonous. So uh, don't do that. So I just learned something uh, bad when I just started uh, spraying this thing out. This is not an open differential. It's just a really, really worn out locking differential. Uh, so I'm going to have to find myself an open differential really quick uh, and weld that one. All right. Okay. So I was lucky enough to uh, get this 350Z diff. This is actually an open 350Z diff instead of this clapped out locker uh, that I genuinely thought was an open because it was so destroyed. But uh, this is a genuine open and I'll be able to weld it. Use a rubber mallet to knock out the axle stubs. Remove the bearing caps. Now pry out the differential. Well, after I have the uh, diff apart, I like to organize things like this to just keep track of where everything came from. Unbolt the ring gear. Use a soft hammer to remove it if need be. I put the bolts back in so I don't lose them. Now I dump a couple cans of brake cleaner in the differential. Measure up the space between the spider gears so I know what size plate to cut. I mark a piece of 3 16th steel. and cut it with an angle grinder. I give it a little shape to fit between the gears better. Zip tie a pair of old welding gloves over the bearings to protect them. Put a couple tacks on the plate to keep it from moving around. Now go to town welding it. Do this for both sides. 
After it cools down, reinstall the ring gear. Place the differential back in the housing. Give it a few taps if you need to. Reinstall the bearing caps. Reinstall the axle stubs. Check for easy movement and rotation. It's important to spend a good amount of time cleaning the mating surface for the silicone. You don't want your rear diff to leak. Remember to thoroughly clean the diff cover as well. Apply RTV meant for use with oil. Use a finger to flatten it out. Place the cover on the differential and finger tighten the bolts. I like to give it about 10 minutes for the RTV to skin up before I fully tighten it. Now put the differential back in the car.